to someone and we wish we never knew fucked up how people treat people like they're disposable and replaceable and i know damn well i'm not disposable nor replaceable some people just never grow some people just never mature and i feel sorry i really feel sorry for her whenever i meet a woman that would a friend's man and let your friend talk about your ex-friend baby you know. i know that they have their evil spirit Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday and I've literally just been spending my time on the computer editing and I'm currently posting a vlog today. I didn't post a vlog last week, but I'm posting a vlog today. I'm just waiting for it to upload to make sure I don't have any like copyright issues because I already uploaded it once, had to take it down, had to change the song. Hopefully this works out in my favor because it's already 7.18 and I had wanted to post a vlog two hours ago, but I came across that issue as usual. So it is what it is, it comes with the territory. I'm just sitting here right now opening up my packages from the past week. I'm just super excited because I got a package, a PR box from TPH by Taraji. I'm just so excited. So I got a clarifying shampoo called Honey Fresh. Make It Rain, which is a hydrating conditioner. A mask on moisturizing conditioning mask. I'm really excited about this fragrance mist. This is called Namaste. Ah! Yeah, I'm really excited about that. To just get out the shower. Mm! This smells so good, guys. Here we glow now. It is a skin blurring, shimmering body lotion. Vanilla. Ooh, vanilla is my favorite scent. And tuberose. I've never heard of a tu tuberose. Tuberose? Hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to try that too. And then I also got a PR from Giorgio Armani. Oh my God. So they sent this in a box. Which I'm like, okay, the bag is cute. Okay, gift bag. We love it, Giorgio Armani. They sent a luminous silk foundation, flawless foundation, glow enhancing primer. And then they also sent a concealer. Thank you to Giorgio Armani for sending me some makeup because I want to get back into makeup, as y'all already know. And then Dozier, Dozier. Mm, mm. Oh, hold on now. It smells so good. It's Flora Marshmallow. I have this perfume, Flora Marshmallow. It smells so good. Inspired by Killian's Love, Don't Be Shy perfume. It has notes of marshmallow and bergamot, middle notes of orange blossom, honeysuckle jasmine, and then base notes of vanilla musk and amber. So yeah, shout out to Dozier for sending me this. This is absolutely great. As y'all saw in my last vlog, I came across my Sony camcorder which I'm really excited about. And I got me a SIM card and I got me a SIM card. So I'm definitely gonna be vlogging with this camera cause like I said in my last vlog, it definitely gives me like paranormal activity vibes. It's just like so cool and nostalgic. I just absolutely love it. So this is um, my Sony camcorder. It's actually still on Amazon. Super affordable camera. And then this is my very first camera. And I've never thought to turn it on since, I don't know, maybe over 13, 15 years ago. Wow. Wow, whole time really flies. And this is battery operated. So last night I had um, ordered me some AA batteries from Amazon. So, and then I have another mini, um, what is it, sand disc. So I'm about to go ahead and put that in there, change out these old batteries. These batteries are from damn near 15 years ago. And then I'm gonna replace them with the batteries that I just got. And I'm so excited to turn this baby on. This doesn't have like any like flip screen or nothing like that. But I remember taking pictures with this. Actually, I have some pictures probably from Facebook that I can show you guys right here that I took pictures in. Oh my God, this camera. <laughs> this was my first baby ever. So we're about to turn her on. All right, now the baby works. <gasps> There's old photos from high school on here. Wow. And then of course I still have my Canon G7X Mark III. Brandon fixed my screen for me. So dope. He's just gonna fix my screen on this camera right here because I broke it trying to 
get to the airport on time oh my god but yeah my I'm running out of space on my camera right now so i have to delete some footages but um clean this mess up delete some footages and then check my youtube video to see if it uploaded and then if it did i'm gonna run trader joe's we're gonna make a run trader joe's <sighs> i didn't make it to trader joe's y'all but i'm like you know what i'm making a nice little salad i had some lettuce left over i made some tuna put some mayonnaise and relish and salt and pepper i added some parmesan cheese and i made me some nice saute just a little bit because i still like my little crunch the green beans this onion salt right here from trader joe's so good that's the only thing that i put on my green beans normally i'll put like lemon pepper which is so good on anything green like broccoli asparagus green beans even spinach it's not salty it's not zesty i like lemon pepper because it's like the zesty taste but um this is really good really good i highly i highly stress it i'm gonna go ahead and try this sparkling lemon lime beverage i actually got from angry's when we was helping um her pack her apartment she was obviously trying to clean out her refrigerator Woo! oh my god that is so strong Betty Buzz, never heard of Betty Buzz. Sparkling lemon lime beverage. What's in the What's the ingredients? Carbonated water, agave syrup, lime, used lemon, natural flavors, sea salt. That's it. Okay, lovely. Okay, they're basically flavored water. Favorite flavored sparkling water. We love that. Well, no, because it had a little bit of agave in it. But it's so strong. Who needs a Pepsi when you got Betty Buzz? That should be a little slogan. The reason why I use Pepsi is my, my grandma used to dog Pepsi back in the day when I was a little girl. Who needs a Pepsi when you have Betty Buzz? <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Okay, so I went ahead and put her up in a claw clip. Can't never go wrong with the claw clip, y'all. Threw on these really cute um, lounge sweats or sweats from lounge. It's a matching set, so it's like a sweatshirt. It has a, also like a tank top, and then the sweats. But I decided to just pair it with a white t-shirt instead. And then I have on these uh, bedazzly um, slides from Simi. And then, <laughs> look, I've been wearing Simi. Be sending me all the shoes, y'all. So I've been wearing a lot of Simi shoes. Then this ring, this cute little diamond bracelet, and this is my other ring. And then this necklace. I got this necklace from Azazi's website, along with this bracelet, and then along with the earrings. The earrings match. I'll have these linked down below, though. And the bracelet, I'll have that linked down below. Oh, and then this bag. This bag is also from Azazi, so I'll have this too linked down below because this is so cute. But um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head to Trader Joe's because we're having Taco Tuesday. Me and Barb, Barb's coming over and I'm going to be showing her how to edit on Final Cut Pro. Um, also gonna be doing her hair and then we're gonna be making cocktails and yeah, tonight's gonna be fun. A nice like um, girls night in. So yeah, let me call my Uber now so I can go to Trader Joe's get the groceries and then come back because it's already six o'clock and I done told sister girl seven we might have to push the time to 7 30. we gonna see in the background uh, y'all know the routine brooch buns brooch buns amazing for my tuna sandwiches some cilantro some meat these snickerdoodle cookies chow had to get them again now some dog treats some tomatoes tortillas Strawberries. Y'all say strawberries or y'all say strawberries? Are we too old to be saying strawberries? Chicken sausages. Bruschetta. Apple cider vinegar. Bag number one. Three bags to go. More eggs. Blue corn tortilla chips. Pilaf rice. Tops of palm pasta. Mozzarella cheese. Red onions. Why am I yelling? Huh? Apple juice. Taco sauce. Bananas. Two bags down. Two bags to go. Agua. Ginger here. Cinnamon sugar bread. Spinach. Spring mix. All time favorite mushroom flatbread. Large shrimp. Chicken breast. Alaskan salmon. Ghost pepper salsa. Chunky guacamole. And some corn. That's good because my bill only came up to $170.47. Got me some flowers. So I'm going to try to make me a nice little flower arrangement. 
Whenever I meet a woman that would fuck her friend's man And let your friend talk about your ex-friend, baby, you wanna- I know that they have a dark evil spirit Fuck my mother's law, for a free beat, you can hit Megan Raw You can hit Megan Raw, you can hit Megan Raw, you can hit Megan Raw I know it's the most attention you've ever gotten. For a free beat, you can hit Megan Raw. Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing and slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town, baby. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to that Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap, ayy Shawty come sit on my lap, ayy They say I'm crazy to snap This in between us is not like a store, this isn't a closable gap, ayy I see some niggas attack, and don't end up making it back I know that they at the crib, going crazy, down bad What they had didn't last, damn baby Sometimes we laugh, and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing and slowed down Baby We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town Baby Where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? I'm in the trenches, relax Can you not tell that little boy in the club? Cause we do not listen to rest We in Atlanta, I got her wig She telling me Tay is the best Point at the nigga who act like a killer But you only want from the net I'm like the baby, I'm not just a rapper So I bet they on their face right now I know that they at the crib going crazy down bad What they had didn't last, damn baby Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry But I guess you know now Now it 
nowadays I do have to wear a bra for support because as we all know as women we store a lot of our fat in our boob area so my boobs has definitely grown. I was a size B cup and then I went into C cup surprisingly I was like oh my god and then I recently tried on one of my bras and I can no longer fit it so your Kendra might be a D. So I was a little um, worried about the fitting of this bra because it's a size small but as you guys can tell it's definitely fitting and supporting the boobs very well okay and i absolutely love how the fitting comes out on the side so that way you don't have to worry about like the um side boob fat coming out on the sides it's literally holding my boobs in and supporting them perfectly and mind you i <laughs> i like the cleavage i don't have cleavage my boobs my boobs are flat right here and they come out to the sides do, do they call those orangutan boobs i don't know but my boobs are flat right here and then they come out to the side but as you can tell with this bra it doesn't look like it it look, makes my boobs look very full the cleavage is looking really really good and then i absolutely love the fitting from the back as well and yes the bra is padded there is padding on the inside and then on the outside there's the shaving material now i know that the straps are small and i know how we could feel about small straps but y'all i could barely feel them there that's how comfortable this bra is. Like, I personally do not like bras, but this is the best fitting bra that I've ever had in my entire life. Seriously. Unfortunately, they were so kind enough to send me another one in this beautiful chocolate color, which is gonna look so good on my skin. So thank you for that. Now to get into their everyday cami. Do y'all see how this is like making my waist look snatched? <laughs> The waist is literally looking snatched. It's the compression for me. It's like super comfortable. I'm in love. And if you're a bodysuit type of girl, don't worry, they got you. They also sent me a crew neck shaping bodysuit as well in multiple colors. Now, I wanted to try this dress on before trying on the high-waisted shaping shorts and the bodysuit. I wanted to see if the bodysuit was really seamless right here. And then I wanted to see how much, like how many inches or centimeters <laughs> is the um, shaping shorts gonna bring in my waist. So, I have my measuring tape because we're about to really put this to the test. I also have the wireless shaping bra on and as you can tell, it's extremely seamless. It's definitely holding the girls up very well, better than any bra that I have in my um, dresser drawer. And then it's also seamless in the back, which is great. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my waist. So I am a 30 in the waist. Damn. I'm about to go ahead and try on the shaper shorts and the bodysuit to see if it like snatches me up a little bit. Okay, so this is the before. This is the before. Okay, now this is just with the bodysuit on, and I don't know if you guys can tell off rip, but I definitely can see a little difference in the shaping of my figure in this dress. Now, I do see the lining a bit right here on my on the side of the, of the bodysuit, but I feel like this would be less noticeable if I had on something dark. I mean, I do have on a neon green dress, but um, yeah, let's put this to the tester and measure our waist. Oh wow, and it took an inch off my waist. My waist is a 29, so I went from a 30 to a 29. Now let's see what, if the shorts can work the same magic. I feel like the shorts might have a little bit more compression than the bodysuit, but we'll see. But overall, I do like this, it's comfortable. It feels really good, I can move around in it. I feel confident, you know? I don't feel like all my stuff hanging out. I mean, I don't have a lot of stuff to hang out anyway. But, let you get my point. For it to take an inch off my waist, crazy. Okay, now this is just with the shaping biker shorts. This is in a size extra small, small. And we're about to do the quick measuring test. Okay, so same thing with the shorts. I lost an inch. I'm a 29 in the waist. Which is pretty awesome. So yeah, that was super fun. I also want to try out these ultra resistant shaping tights that they sent me. So I'm going to try on a different outfit and to see if they're really ultra resistant tights. It says, it says practically unbreakable. Okay, I changed my mind. I think I'm going to wear this green blazer as my pop of green for tonight. I feel like the green dress is a little too bright for the evening. If it was like a daytime brunch, or a daytime luncheon or something like that, I think that would have been fine. But because
because it's a nighttime dinner, I don't feel like that one with the vibe. So I'm deciding to wear this green blazer that I have not worn in a very long time. I actually got this blazer when I was in high school. I think from TJ Maxx. Does this look like a TJ Maxx blazer? Does this look like a TJ Maxx blazer? No, it does not, okay? But yeah, I've had this blazer since high school and have not worn it for a very long time, so I think it's like the perfect opportunity to bring it out. So these are the ultra-resisting shaping tights, um, and they're super comfortable, and they were really easy for me to put on. Mind you, I have um, semi-sharp nails, so it's easy for me to poke holes in things, but I was literally able to pull this up with no problem. I don't have any runs in my stockings, so I'm pretty confident. We'll see how they last throughout the night, but um, yeah, I'm pretty confident. And I got these in a size small, so what I'm going to do is pair them with some leather shorts. Um, well, actually, I don't even have leather shorts. I'm going to have to cut a pair of my leather trousers because I don't feel like running to the store, and I barely wear the trousers anyways. So I'm going to cut them into some shorts, and then I'm going to pair them with these really cute shoes and then I think this is going to be the fit for the night I'm not sure what I'm going to do underneath the blazer but we'll figure that out later as we get dressed so yeah that was everything shout out to Shaper Man for sponsoring the segment of today's vlog I'm going to leave all the links that you need to know down below in the description box and leave a comment hashtag Shaper Man along with your Instagram if you're a size small and you want some free goodies they sent me plenty full so I'm willing to share them with my kindred I'll pick a winner within the 24 hours of me posting this vlog I'll DM you and then you know you can give me your shipping address and then I'll priority ship you your new shapewear It's time and we wish we never knew Homeboys I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking and Summer mixing and we wish we never knew at all Homegirls Running around in the city It's time and we wish we never knew at all Homeboys Flipping and switches and bitches It's time and we wish we never knew at all Homeboys Never the life of the party It's time and we wish we never knew at all Homegirls so I made it back in the house from getting my nails done and they turned out so cute. These are my nails for the month. Look, cause my last set of nails lasted me for an entire month. These are probably gonna last me for an entire month. So, um, or at least until, yeah, the 20th, the 20th. So maybe until like next month, the 19th or something like that. But yeah, I made it back home. So now I'm like in a rush to like get ready. I was low key about to cancel cause I'm like really tired. But I didn't want to cancel because I thought that was rude. So, <laughs> I'm going to be uh, trying out the Renew products today. So, I was gifted, I think y'all saw early in the vlog, that I was gifted Georgia Armani um, foundation and concealer. So, I'm going to be finally trying those two out. And then I ran to Sephora today because I've obviously heard a lot about the Milk um, Primer. And I have never used it. I'm not really a primer girl, but... This one girl, um, last week when I saw her, I was like, oh my God, your makeup looks so good. And I was like, do you use the primer? And she was like, yeah. I was like, what do you use? And she was like, milk. And I'm like, oh. I said, what do you set your face with? And she was like, she told me something else. But she also said Laura Marie Taillet was really good. And I already have that. I have the translucent powder. So, I'm going to try this milk magnesia. <laughs> no, this milk hydro grip primer. Um, I mean... The girls always talk about it, so I'm going to use it, and yeah, hopefully I did that right. I just applied it all over my face. I'm really trying to hurry up. I don't like when people play in my face. I take my friendship seriously, so like when someone does some F, F shit to me, it's kind of like, bro, me out of all people, like I always make it known. We can talk about anything. Like, I don't care what it is. We can talk about anything. Girls who are mad at you for being friends with a girl because they not friends. Like, bro. Especially when the girl ain't never did nothing to your friend or you. Why would I not be friends with her? Like, that's just so weird. So, like, basically, long story short, a friend of mine blocked me on Instagram randomly as hell. Like, literally random. Because she felt some type of way that I was, like, growing a closer friendship with a girl that they're like no longer close bro you was just at my house like you and your man was just at my house i was under the assumption that you were going to come to my house the next day to come get your hair done and then the next day 
I realized that you blocked me? What? So when I talked to her boyfriend, you know, I just wanted to know what the fuck was going on because you blocked me from your phone, you blocked me from social media. I'm like, bro, what's going on? So, and he proceeds to tell me that like, oh, she feels some type of way. She feels like you're choosing this one girl over her. And it's like, bro, how old are we? Like, are you effing serious? Like, you were just at my house. We talk every day. So for you to even feel like that is crazy. And if you did feel that way, like come and talk to me because clearly there's some miscommunication. Let's up block me, bro, I feel some type of way because I don't like wasting my time. I don't like wasting my time with people. My biggest thing is just because you're my friend doesn't mean that I am obligated to encourage or enable weird behavior. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cut off a girl who, one, didn't do anything to my friend to cause the mistrust or friendship breakup. And she damn sure didn't do anything to me. So why would I not be friends with her? I'm not going to do that. I'm not that friend that's going to enable and encourage weird behavior. And I just expect my friends to understand that, respect that, and just to simply, for real, for real, do better. Do better. When I reflect and think back on a lot of stuff, <laughs> but I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt because I have a really, really, really big heart. And I don't know, I just... I feel like I just been smacked in the face. Jealousy, ugh, drama, just drama feel like no, I don't I don't do that. And some people live for that. And then it's so crazy because like you're mad at me for being friends with somebody when you're the one who was technically in the wrong. Like and when I say wrong, I mean just based off of like how you move. Like it's a principle of things, like certain things you just don't do. Like for her to feel like she right or she didn't do nothing wrong or to not look at it from a perspective where it's like bro yeah that that did kind of look shady that did look sneaky that did look weird i could see why she would feel some type of way towards me you know what i'm saying if you really cared about that friendship reach out you know what i'm saying if not if not whatever i'm not gonna over ex exert myself or over extend myself for y'all shit i'm not about to do that now would i be happy to mediate when the opportunity presents itself hell yeah but Am I gonna go out of my way to make to see that y'all make? No, I'm not about to do that. Y'all two grown ass women who's known each other before, who has known each other before I even came in the picture. It's kind of like, what are we like? What are we talking about? So, so you're gonna be mad at me? Oh, some shit that you did, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Get somebody else to do it. Grow up. Grow up, bro. That shit really hurt my feelings. Like, like I said, I just don't like. Wasting my time with people. I don't like wasting my time. I don't like wasting my energy. I don't like wasting my money. But I need to stop having expectations of people. I mean, I don't even have expectations. I just give people the benefit of the doubt. And I need to stop giving people the benefit of the doubt who has already shown me who the fuck they are and how they are, how they move, how they operate. Like, no. And I always be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I can pee. I peep. I be peeping stuff. I mean, people how people move, I really pee myself. But I be like, that person would never have no reason to do that to me. It's fucked up how people treat people like they're disposable. Disposable and replaceable. And I know damn well I'm not disposable, nor replaceable. Some people just never grow. Some people just never mature. And I feel sorry. I really feel sorry for her. I didn't even plan on doing eyeshadow today, which is so crazy. I don't even know why I'm doing eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I think my camera is overheating right now. Let's see. I don't know if this is gonna turn out cute or not because I'm rushing now at this point. I'm really tired, by the way. <gasps> Y'all would not fucking believe this shit. I spray Wonder Lace Spray on my face when I meant to spray the setting spray. Oh my God. Did that mess my makeup up? That is crazy. Why is this sitting here? Where is the damn setting spray? Wow, I cannot believe I did that. And then my setting spray isn't even black, it's gold. Ooh. I know I sprayed too much on my face just now, but I'd rather just like loosen that up because that sprayed all on my eye and everything, bro. And y'all know that stuff is sticky as hell. It's a light glue. <laughs> I'm 
distracted. I'm gonna have to, I'm distracted, I'm irritated, I'm like fucking shit up. I'm gonna have to like retest this, <laughs> this um, makeup and concealer with the primer on a good day, cause I mean, this is a good day. I, I've been a little funk, a little bit, but on just like a different day. Ooh, I don't know. Shoot, spraying it on my face, my makeup better stay. Shoot, it better not move. How about that? It better not move. How about that? Where is my mascara? This is literally the quickest and easiest hairstyle I have ever did. One of the quickest is easiest air style. This literally took me about two minutes. Two minutes to hot coming back, to twist it into a bun and leave the ends out so that way it can be like a little bit of spiky in the back. So cute. And I actually got this idea for tonight from my friend Brie. But she's not coming with us tonight anymore. She went to the Nicki Minaj concert. But yeah, let me go ahead and get myself together. I feel cute, I look cute. I want to do like a quick outfit check, but I'm like, should I bring my camera? Basically, I'm wearing um, these denim jeans that I got from Zara. This green top that's also from Zara. These um, red sandal heels. Oh, y'all remember these red sandals? And the bag. Oh, y'all remember this from the last vlog. But the outfit is from Zara, and then the same shoes from Sydney, and then this bag. And um, I want to get me a picture tonight. But I'm like, how can I get a picture if I don't take my tripod? I don't want to walk around with a big ass tripod and my camera. So I think I'm just going to vlog on my phone and then, because I want to take my tripod so I can take some pictures of myself. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to leave my camera because I ain't got time. I'm going to just take my handy dandy tripod and my phone. Oh, that reminds me. Oh my God. I got to change. I gotta change my case to my phone because I got dye on, I got color on my case. I had this case for a very long time, but it serves this justice. Look at my phone, y'all. My phone is a hot mess. I just got another case from TJ Maxx. So. I just got another case from TJ Maxx real quick. This baby was only $7.99. Y'all really want me to use my nails today, huh? So desperately needed another case because that looked crazy and you don't want to walk around here looking tacky. Oh, and this one has a little cute little, okay, cute, oh, whatever. I'm going to go downstairs, get my tripod, and wait for my Uber. I really got to lose this tummy, y'all. Girl, it's, these titties is big. These titties is huge. I have on the shapewear, um, I have the wireless shapewear bra on right now. I'm like, bro, when did your boobs get so big? My God. But most of the time we use it in the wrong way. Press the word we use every day. But most of the time we use it in the wrong way. Press the word we use every day. But most of the time we use it in the wrong way. You don't believe in the love. You're missing a good thing. Because I'm in your mind. 